Hello everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Well, it's late at night, which I suppose is the perfect time to play this game, and I'm also very, very tired, but I don't care because I really want to play. So I'll have a nice cup of tea to keep myself perked up. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Ah, the next thing to do, even though it does not show up in my quest log for some curious reason, the next thing I need to do is go get the Ankaran Sarcophagus from the Museum of something. Natural Historium? Nat, nat, natural Artifactorary Historium? I, I don't even know what the place was called. But I need to go back to LaCroix to get there. So let's do that. Take me to the ground floor. Hmm. Boo do do. Do. Do do do. Do. I thought I thought the coughing man was going to be there. Nope. The coughing man appears to have been replaced by the leaning against the wall man. Do. Da da da. Da da do 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 ba ba da da do 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 Okay, can I remember how to get back there? This way, this way, this way. Yes. Do I have any skill points? Six. What am I saving up for? Um, let's see, my, I, I just upgraded my Persuasion. Yeah, it's seven, so I'm good on that. The next thing I was going to upgrade was my Lockpicking and Sneaking and Hacking. Do I have something to do with that yet? Uh, so, act, yeah, Security. I'm going to increase my Lockpicking. Hold on. Do I have anything that's going to increase both? Dexterity would increase Lockpicking and Sneaking, which is excellent. But it also costs... 12... Hold on, what would it cost if I put one point in sneaking and one point in lockpicking individually? Security and stealth. Actually, it would cost less. Yeah, to upgrade both individually, I mean, uh, to upgrade both, yeah, separately, would cost, um, nine points. Whereas to put one point in dexterity to upgrade both would cost twelve. What about hacking? That's wits. Which is 8. And that would also increase defense. Hmm, I do want a better hacking. It, that is my weakest skill. I mean, I care about stealth, but I care most about lockpicking and hacking. Because st uh, stealth isn't really going to stop you from being able to do something, it's just going to make doing stuff harder. Whereas lockpicking and hacking will actually stop you from being able to do stuff. So that's why I view them as more important. So... And upgrading hacking directly would cost six. I think the extra two points for another point of defense, for another point in wits, is good. So I'm going to save up. Yeah. I'm going to wait till I have two more experience points and put a point in wits. You could say I'm feeling witty today. Or tonight. Obviously it's not daylight or I would be dead. In the game, I mean. In real life, I don't die because of sunlight. At least last time I checked. Which, now that I think about it, the last time I left my house was about a month ago. Hmm. Maybe I've unknowingly turned into a vampire. Before then. It could happen. Hey, Junk. How you doing? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. I've been thinking about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. Then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! <laughs> I knew he was talking about food. Ah. <sighs> oh, Chunk. Okay, let me save this. And let's go. The car is waiting. 
I'm ready to go. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Okay. So, car waiting outside, so I go outside? This doesn't even say, but I'm assuming so, yeah, okay. Oh, is it... Like, is it a separate place on the taxi? Where to? Uh... Just drive? Oh yeah, it's a separate place on the uh, taxi. Okay, museum. Hmm. Alright, so once again, LaCroix is warning me not to open the Anne Karen sarcophagus. Which means, once again, that is exactly what I want to do. Roof access. Oh, I hear people walking. Alright, so I've just entered from the roof. Now, even though I wanted to talk my way into here, it appears I can't. At least according to the dialogue options I had at the end of the last episode. I was trying to say, sure, give me the keys, I'll just walk in the front and use my persuasion ability, but... There was literally no dialogue option that actually allowed me to do that. Like, he, was, he was willing to give me the keys, but... What the fuck? Holy shit, that scared me. <laughs> Fucking Velociraptor. It's not alive, is it? No. Okay. Jesus. I mean, it seemed pretty implausible to be attacked by a freaking dinosaur in this game, but I mean, cr crazy stuff has happened before. What the hell was I even saying? I got so distracted from that. Um. I think I was saying something about how LaCroix offered me the keys, but all the dialogue options had me refuse the keys. There was no way to say yes, please. I'll use my seven persuasion, which I'm pretty sure with a persuasion of seven, that means you could probably, like, convince a, a deity, a deity to do whatever the hell you want at that point. But, I, I don't know. <sighs> Is this a note? Damned funny, you scared the crap out of the cleaning crew. Now would you put the damned raptor back in its exhibit? Oh, but don't leave your keys lying around or Marshall will fire your ass. <laughs> yes, I will. I will fire your ass. Wait a minute, I I own the museum or something? Apparently I do. It's actually pretty rare to see someone with my name, Marshall. It's not it's not a super rare name. It's meh. I don't know, it's uncommon. You know... I thought Auspex would be super useful for stealth, to reveal the silhouettes of enemies through walls, but it turns out it's not. Like, I could use Auspex right here, and use some blood, to do that. But why? Even if I open the store, I'm not going to get spotted. My stealth skill is pretty damn good. It's just not really a problem. I kind of regret putting so many points into Auspex, although it does give me uh, a two to wits, which allows me to get my hacking up by two points, so that's nice. Can't deny that. It is nice. But I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know. I think presence might have been better. Maybe even celerity, but no, definitely presence. Hmm. Anyway. I don't think there's anyone down here. Doesn't look like it. These are some very open and dull hallways. Just boxy hallway after boxy hallway with nothing in it. Look at like, just more of this, what the hell? Oh my god. Could these hallways be any more boring? Oh. 
This is open. What the heck? Well, there's a key. It looks like a little cubby hole for the... For the what? For the workers? I, I don't even know. Museum office. Cool. I like how I can keep looking through the walls. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, if you just, like, jam your camera into the wall, it just clips a little bit. Or, it did. And now it won't do it. Of course. As soon as I try to demonstrate it, it won't do it. Okay. Office key. <laughs> right, um... I just realized something very strange. My quest is to take the Ankaran sarcophagus. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure sarcophagi, if that's a word, are very, very heavy. Like thousands and thousands of pounds heavy. So exactly how am I expected to take it? Am I just going to shove it in my pocket? I'm curious. I don't know, maybe an opportunity will present itself. Aww. I thought there'd be like an informational placard here that I could read, but there isn't. I want to know what this is, and tell me about its habitat and its, its mating practices. I don't know, I've seen this thing before, I just don't, I can't remember what it's called. Ooh, hi. Why do you have your gun out? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure security guards don't normally just walk around with their guns out. Okay, I'm just gonna stay one step ahead of him. Oh shit. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I was watching my, uh, my meter on the left side go up. 60, 70, but it didn't go yellow, so I was always safe. I find it very strange that all the guards are walking around with their guns out. That's, that is not standard procedure. I'm pretty sure, in the real world, you wouldn't come to work one day and find, like, a memo saying, Due to security concerns, the new operating procedure is to have your weapon out at all times while walking, and make sure to turn those safeties off. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. There's a thing called holsters. They're usually used, in general. A weapon, a weapon will normally spend the vast majority of its life inside of a holster. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? That is a weird path to take. Are you kidding me? I was in the green the entire time. I don't... What? I don't know what's happening. But I'm going to continue this way because I want to look at all of the exhibits. I'm not joking. All of them. Oh, look, it's a squid thing. And that's a T-Rex. And that's a Jehovah's Witness. Those are some hairless cats. The zebra. That's a door. That is not part of the show. Oh, that's the original thing. I don't even know what that is. 
Must be some sort of marsupial. Oh, those are, um... Those are dolphins. That is a very strange looking dinosaur that looks like it's ready to grab something. It looks like it really wants to hold something. And that look on its face is a look of eternal... E oh god. I need to go. Okay, I can't look at the exhibits anymore. That's a camel. It actually is a camel. Okay, we gotta do this on the move. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. That's a thing. It's another thing. It's a lizard Komodo dragon thing. Lion, tiger, liger, something. Man, there's a lot of exhibits. Flamingos. This is nothing. It's a particle board. Actually, is that particle board? I don't know, it's some sort of board. That's the thing I saw in the hallway. Rhino. I seriously do want to look at everything in the exhibits. It's a compulsion. I need to. Okay, and we're back here. Alright, let's go down. Whoa! What the fucking hell was that? Oh, crap. Hey. Well, apparently I heard that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got by him. Okay, what the hell was that noise? It scared the hell out of me. Fire exit. Unfortunately, the door doesn't even work. I'm pretty sure that's a safety hazard. Aren't fire exits supposed to be accessible at all times? Wait, are there cameras? I hear cameras. I hear them, but I don't see them. Hmm. It's an interesting place for payphones. Locked. probably save. I'm pretty far in at this point. Utility door also does not open. Manager's office also doesn't open. Hold on, what do I have the keys for? Oh, that's right, I have a key ring. Where's that? Where's my keyring? Oh, I already have it selected. <laughs> my god. Museum office key. Okay, so I need to find the office, not the manager's door, which doesn't even open. <laughs> where, where's my keys? I don't know where my keys are. More lovely payphones. I'd really like to stand up and run, but I would get instantly seen, probably. Mm, have I got around in a circle at this point? No, I haven't. Looks like I can open this door. And probably that one, because they appear to actually have uh, handles. Security lost and found. Missing children. Okay. Hello? No one here. Ooh, I can go hacking. Sweet. Email? I love Gabe. <laughs> is that... This game is made on the Source Engine. Do you think that's a reference to Gabe Newell? It wouldn't surprise me. Email for Janice. Reminder. From C. Marshall. And just a reminder, Dr. Anders Johansson, aka the Sarcophagus Guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. 
Show him the professional courtesy we show all our guests. CM. Fetish. From P. King at blah blah blah. That statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night, and I swear I thought I saw it move. This isn't another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. Pam. Hmm, a strange fetish doll. I was expecting something saucier than a fetish doll, but I'll take it. It sounds like something that I might actually find useful. As in, I think it might actually be a, an occult power-up or something like that. A virus alert! Read me! Let me guess, it's a virus. From a bunch of letters at mail.vtm. MAV has detected a virus in the attachment of this message. The virus has been quarantined and a notice sent to blah blah blah. Oh, never mind. I thought it was going to be, you know, like, you, we detect that you have a virus. Please download this attachment and run it immediately. All right, number four, thanks. From JJ Elmster. Those keys you found, they're Larry's. I'll tell him you left them in Lost and Found. Hmm. Larry's keys in the Lost and Found. Well, it just so happens that's where I'm at. Okay. Sales. Oh, I do not have the uh, pow uh, hacking ability for that. Six. Well, it just so happens I can get my ability directly up to six. Exactly up to six. Right? Five? From Auspex, right? Wits? Yeah. Alright. Griff. Wait, are you... Are you serious? There's no commands I can use here? Email. Mm-hmm. Sales. There's... There's no command. <laughs> List. <laughs> okay. There's literally nothing I can do here. Ah, uh, where's the U? There it is. Again, I cannot see my keyboard. With the way I record, I'm kind of mashed into my desk to get closer to the microphone, so I can't see my keyboard. Which makes it hard to type. <laughs> Gotta keep a lookout for a fetish doll. Lost and found? Wait, what was that? Oh. Needs a keycard. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a chair I can move? Because I don't think I can jump into that without a chair or something to stand on. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, this is going to be the first time I've ever done this. Hmm. Is that going to be high enough? I'm not sure I'm high enough for this. I might need to smoke a little bit more. Am I even standing up or am I still... Cry what is even happening to my body? Uh, oh god. This is not working out too well. Stand up. There you go. I don't think you're meant to go in here. I think you're meant to come out of here. Yeah, you're not meant to go in here. I... I don't even know what's happening. I'm trying to go third person, but it won't let me, and... I'm kind of like... This is not working. No, you're not meant to do that. You're definitely not meant to do that. Let's just shove that under there. Actually, it won't even go under there, because a collision box doesn't even allow you to. Ah, oh well. I tried. What is that? Gentlemen. Bathroom, I assume. Was oh, there someone in there? Yes. Did 
they leave? Am I hearing somebody infinitely going to the bathroom? Hold on, I need to investigate. <laughs> what is wrong with this person? They're going to the bathroom, zipping up, and then unzipping, and then going to the bathroom again. Listen. Okay, there's something very, very wrong. Between the infinitely pissing man and the coughing guard, the coughing guards, there's been multiples of them, and the fact that all of the guards seem to hold their guns out at all times, I'm starting to worry about the guards in this town, or just in this general area that I've been visiting. All the areas that I've visited in this game, just, there's something wrong with the guards in all of these places. Something very, very wrong with them. Ooh, that might lead me to where I need to go. Let's find out. <laughs> we can even watch. Hi. You seem to be enjoying that. Does it feel good? You know, you're not even really close to the toilet. I'm kind of worried you're getting it all over the ground. Oh, now he's done. Okay. It's an ominous red light coming from that direction. So naturally, I'm going to go the other way. Where is that? I think? I'm not, I'm not actually sure where that is. Have I been there? Hmm. Anyway, I'm looking for the lost and found. That looks promising, but there's also a guard there, so that's not good. Okay, that's where I opened. So yeah, lost and found is right here. That's right... Inside of the door, yeah, there's the door right there, I think. Hmm. I'm not supposed to kill anyone. And do it without killing anyone, if possible. There's no way I can drop down without him seeing me. No way. Alright, let's go find out what's around here, to the right, because I haven't been here before, and I don't see any guards. Okay, where am I? There's nothing of any use in here at all. Hmm. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Now we're in business. Looks like I'm still pretty nicely hidden here. Now, what can I do? Okay. That will take me back out of here, but what can I actually do from in here? Oh. Museum basement key. I guess that's, yeah, that's what I needed. 
I guess. I like how he's looking like right at me, but he doesn't see me. Not that I'm complaining, but it's just kind of funny. Alright, where's the basement? Have I already hit that locked door or not? I'm not even sure. I hear far too much walking for my comfort. It's really hard to place exactly where the noises are coming from. Kind of reminds me of playing the Thief games. I remember they had some serious issues with the... The sound just wasn't... It wasn't like calculating it very accurately as far as what the sound would have to travel through. So you ended up with hearing footsteps just above or below you or through doors or stuff that sounded like it was just coming from like inches away or something or feet away but was actually very far away. It was very strange. It, really hard to deal with when you're playing a stealth game. Because you really need to know where the enemies are and you do that a lot by sound. What is that? Oh, museum admission. Adults $18, students 12, children 12 and under 9, seniors 9, members free. Thank you for supporting the museum. Well, there's the office. Use the office key. Anyone home? Nope. Excellent. Dork. Jan found them buried in the sofa downstairs and turned them into the lost and found. Stop leaving your damned keys all over the place or else next time I'm demanding a finder's fee. JJ. Okay, well I've already found them. I guess I think those keys I found were what she's re referring to. And I need to keep an eye out for a fetish doll. Someone is supposed to have one. Prescription bottle. Who the, who the hell would leave their prescription at work? Ortho tricycline. Failure to take a prescribed to take as prescribed could result in 18 years of responsibility. Oh, so it's birth control. Strange thing to leave at work, but... Well, I can sell them on the black market or whatever. Ooh, museum basement key. Okay, so what's this way? Well, the answer to that is a door that doesn't open. So, okay. <laughs> to the basement we go. Nope, no one's here. Liquid demon seed. That's still disgusting. Like right now, I hear a security guard that sounds really close, but the question is, is he even on this floor, or is he above me? That answers that question. Okay. Whew. Museum tours. Stay on the green line. Red lines are restricted to museum personnel. Well, I... Whoa! What the... It's because of the camera, isn't it? Fuck. I totally forgot about the cameras. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay, they'll, they'll go back to... Doing stupid stuff. No, don't go this way. See, look at that. Their attention span is so short.
they're all probably just muttering to themselves, oh, must have been the wind, and oh, just a rat. They're going to review the video footage, and they're going to see me running about, and they're going to go, eh, just a rat. Just a human-sized rat. Yep, nothing to worry about. The alarm just went off, so let's investigate for 10 seconds and then go back to our jobs. Okay. Okay, does the camera even move or what? Does it? Does it move? I like the sign. We see you touching all that stuff. No, not the stuff. Okay, well, let's see if the camera's still active. Whoa. Did he spot me? Okay, this mission is starting to not... Whoa. It's starting to not look too good for stealth. I'm not even sure what happened there. I didn't hear an alarm, so... What's the deal? Well... Shit. Hey, I can take a shot. I'm supposed to just not kill anyone. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the green line. And then I'm gonna just, like, do this. Okay, bye. Okay, shit, there's gotta be a way to disable the cameras, but where did I miss it? I mean, back where that security guard was, inside of the lost and found, it seemed like there was a bank of controls to control the cameras, but I couldn't exactly get up to him without killing him. So I don't even know how I'm supposed to really do this quest without alerting them. But if I have to run everywhere, I'll do it. I will do it. Museum workroom, okay. Ooh, I probably don't have the skill for this. Mm, no, I do, okay. I, <laughs> I hate my job, okay. Email for Pam King, regarding Johnson, or Johansson. FYI, I'll be showing Dr. Johansson around personally. I think he'd prefer not to be pestered by the junior staff. Of course, if you have a question, I'll try to ask him, f uh, I'll try to ask him it for you. Fetish? Relax, Pam. I had him move the statue into another office. Oh, and it told me to say hi. <laughs> Code change. In keeping with good security practices, we have changed the code for area B2 to... Let me write this down. 2358. Effective immediately. I encourage all of you to change your email passwords as well, if you haven't done so in the last three months. Results. Nope, I do not even have close to the skill for that. Oh, actually, it's only lock difficulty 5. That's not bad. Let me in. View. Analysis incomplete. Estimated time of completion, five hours. Well, shit. That's no good. <laughs> That's where I put the password. That was much closer than I thought it would be. Three, five, eight. There we go. Whoa, hi. I'm gonna go inside now. Goodbye.
Okay, where am I actually going? I don't even know what this place is supposed to be. Okay, that camera's gonna spot me. Let's see how fast it turns. Okay, I should be able to get by it. Yeah, I can do that. I just heard people yell freeze, so I think they saw me somehow. Whoa, okay. Yeah, okay, so they're actually monitoring the cameras. So if I even show up on the camera once, they will see me. Like, it's not a timed thing where I have like two seconds before the camera sends off an alert. They actually have active people actively looking at the cameras. I've just now realized that. But god, they're stupid. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> what the hell is this? Some sort of ridiculous spy movie? Okay, well. I'm a master vampire. This shouldn't be too hard. Even if I set it off, who cares? What's gonna happen? Well. That went well. Goodbye. <laughs> They're so dumb. You know, this, uh, this mission. It said I should avoid killing people, but it didn't say anything about stealth. It did not. Which is good, because I am going to be the least stealthy infiltrator ever, but I'm not going to kill a single person. Alright, I'm also looking for a box. A box that was missing or something. Oh boy, I hear a lot of footsteps. Alright, so I'm looking for a box, and this is a room full of boxes, but uh, I don't seem to be able to do anything with them. So... Eh. Oh well. What the f... Did... Did I just set off the alarm or what? What was... I don't even know. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm. I Whoa, can't understand Jesus. why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. You scared the shit out of me. Jesus. What are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. What happened to the Ankaran sarcophagus? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Astute observation. Did you get to examine it at all? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. An antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. And Gehenna? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred... It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Why do you disagree? 
As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Can you tell me more about Thin Bloods? Thin Bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Cain? Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch, a place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. This is all fascinating stuff. How long have you been studying kindred lore? For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> the second one. We're mutations with powers, like in comic books. We're an alien species from outer space. We're the next evolution of human beings. Hmm. Well, I think saying we're the next evolution of human beings is pretty absurd. Yeah, yeah, that's absurd. We're an alien species from outer space. Uh, that no, that doesn't even make any sense. If we were an alien species from outer space, why would we be so humanoid? We're predatory species, like lions. Yes, I've heard that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. I... I really don't know. My sentiments exactly, but there's time to rectify that. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. Goodbye, Beckett. Oh, did it just force me to leave? But I still had so much to explore! No! There might have been a bunch I could find there. Aw, oh, man! Okay, well, that's it. You best tell the prince of the turn of events, mm hmm. Disappointing. There's got to be a bunch of stuff I missed. Hey, Junk. Oh, excuse me. Uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. You need a guard animal to alert you when somebody comes in. Chunk, isn't that your job? To be observant. <sighs> You're a security guard. I'm pretty sure the security guard shouldn't be delegating security guard duties to something else. Just... LaCroix's expecting me. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix's expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Did you delegate your responsibilities there, too? 
<laughs> we'll talk later, Chunk. Excuse me. Hmm. He's staring out at the city. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I guess we're about to find out. He's contemplative. But what is he contemplating? Is he contemplating... My Little Pony? And thinking of rainbows and lollipops? Or is he thinking about how to kill me? Hi. You're rather tall. Great. Nice chatting with you. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Ooh, I get to use my powers of persuasion here. Excellent. They've been far too underused for far too long. You're respected by everyone in this city for your leadership. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Do you? I haven't... well, <laughs> let's be honest. I haven't met people who speak highly of you. Now what's this all about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? <laughs> oh my god, he's going to hate me. I didn't bring it back. It was stolen. Stolen? St stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat! Uh, Gary? Uh, who's... <laughs> who is Gary? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... Found. The sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. If it were to fall into the wrong hands... Could be exploited. Sure, I think what he means by that is somebody might discover something he doesn't want them to know. Because he always seems to be very... Insist... Insistent that I don't open it. I'll find Gary and the sarcophagus. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is, unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Okay. You know, I'm starting to worry that I might be in too deep with the Camarilla to even be able to change allegiances because I really don't want to be with the Camarilla. I'm just riding out their train because at the moment I don't have any pressing reason to switch, but at this point I'd prefer to be with the Anarchs. 
It's just that I don't know much about the Anarchs, really. I need to know more before I'm comfortable switching to them, but I'm getting, I'm getting increasingly uncomfortable with the Camarilla. So I'd really like to switch. Soon. Okay, is it time to go to Hollywood? I think it might be. The prince wants a sarcophagus now. First step, find Gary. The prince has suggested speaking with Isaac Abrams, the Baron of Hollywood. Isaac can usually be found in his jewelry store. Okay, here we... I swear I just saw something very strange, but I'm not even sure if I actually saw it, so let's pretend I didn't. It's time to go to Hollywood. Need a ride? Mm-hmm. Here we go to Hollywood. Oh yeah. A new place. It's always so fun to go to a new place, isn't it? It's so exciting. Just a whole city of possibilities, you know? Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. Where can I find him? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. And what if maybe I don't want to see Isaac? Ha! <laughs> you do. You going to make me? Ha! <laughs> Waste of effort. Yeah, I thought so. Fuck off, asshole. He's too chicken shit to fight me. Okay, this place sounds like a hellhole. <laughs> I hear nothing but a car alarm going off in the distance. Alright, how... Uh, I just tried to open a map again. You can't open a map. Hold on. Here we go. How big is this place? Um... It's, it's moderately big. Not huge. Oh, there's the Lucky Star mo uh, Hotel, Motel, whatever it's called. <laughs> there's a place called the Asp Hole. <laughs> Aside from being extremely hard to say, Asp Hole, what the hell is that? Uh, it sounds euphemistic. Alright, um, Lucky Star... Uh, should I go to see Isaac first? I don't know. It's so damn close, though. It's really, really, whoops, it's really close to me. I'm just gonna go to the Lucky Star Motel. Alright, where's that quest? Oh, here you go. You found the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse. But Durbin was nowhere to be found. You did find a key to the Lucky Star Motel, though. Alright, red spot, ass pole. I guess it would be the big thing that says hotel. Yep, that's it. Here we go. Why, hello there. That's a lovely fireplace. I think I'm just going to have a nice lie down here. I'm, I do unconventional versions of this. Okay, that was relaxing. <gasps> More shiny donuts! Can, can I just look at the notes right behind him? Hold on, is he seriously not going to notice this? Let me save. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's blind. He has no situational awareness, apparently. Uh, David, a guest, has left his laptop in room 3. I found out the password is... Lichens, but it only has a weird poem on it. See if you can determine the guest's home address. Wait, hold on, so... Room 3... Lichens. Hey, what's up? <laughs> don't mind me being behind you, I was just rifling through your paperwork. Do you mind? No, of course you don't. Hmm. 
seen you have any can I just can I seriously just walk into his office and he doesn't even care? You have nightmares. I think I can. Wow. Dude, you need a new computer. Look at this thing. Oh my god. Is that his mouse? <laughs> Is that his mouse? You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. So, you never sleep <laughs> at night. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. That would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh, boy. Let's see who else we got. <laughs> <sighs> Well, let's have a chat with him. Sorry, no vacancies. Oh, that's fine. I'm just taking a look around. Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. I mean, this, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It, it's invaluable. Oh, you're a writer? Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like... That's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, a, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, all right? I'm a welder of montage. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> the third option. I don't know about your writing, but you sure as hell are a master spaz. <laughs> no, uh, what do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just, like... Ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius. But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Okay, you got to a real answer by the end of that, so that's good. I hate horror films. There's just never enough Muppets. <laughs> what? Uh, horror? What kind of horror film are you working on? Me? I'm like... Looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters. But me, I'm going to be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be, like, it's going to be believable. Hmm. Vampires. What do you know about vampires? Well, in my story, it's not, like, about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? Oh, like how do they, how do they put up a masquerade? Hmm. Whoa, I can actually start to, I can fight him? Look at that. It sounds to me like you know too much. I'm sorry, you must die. Jesus, that's a little bit harsh. Come on. I see. Well, I must be going now. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Is there anything more depressing than an empty pool? Hold on, let me do a dive. That was less epic than I thought it would be. Okay. Uh, which room do I have? Lucky Star Room Key. It doesn't even say. I guess I'll try them all. Also, I need to get into room 3 to use the password on that person's laptop. Hold on, what was that? Oh my god! My whoa, work whoa, what is the hell? done! I don't... What the hell just happened? I, I don't even know what just happened. Uh, using the key you found at the last murder site, you burst into a room at the Lucky Star Motel just in time to see the serial killer make his escape. Oh, that's what happened. Okay. I don't even know. I was too busy distracted by the strangeness of the cutscene. Okay. Brothers Salvage. Wait, what? 
Brothers Salvage. You found a business card from Brothers Salvage in Santa Monica, the latest murder scene. Hmm. I remember Brothers Salvage, yeah. Wait. Where's the body? The guy was just here. What? Where did he go? I... Uh, I don't even know. It's making my brain hurt. Ooh, here we go. Finally get to use my lockpicking skill, which I don't get to use very often. Below difficulty 8. Shit. Um, ah, I can raise it to... S oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I have tons of experience points. I can raise it to 7. Or can I raise it more? Dexterity. What do I have that increases dexterity? Buff? Blood buff will increase it by 2. And that's all I can do, right? Security. Nothing's going to buff security. Okay, so I need to raise my lockpicking skill by 1 if I want to get in there. But I was also going to spend my next point on... Uh, wits... Yes, because that will increase my hacking and my defense. Now, lockpicking. What would I do for that? Security and dexterity. Dexterity is 12. Security is 6. Let's go for one more point in security. Alright. Now I can use a blood buff. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. What is gonna be in here? I'm excited. It's like opening it's like opening a present, you know, when you finally get to use your lock picking or your hacking ability to get in somewhere where you're not supposed to be. It's so exciting. Because I have no idea what to expect. Oh, what is that? 200 bucks. Wow. That was worth it, although at the moment I still don't really have anything to spend my money on, but still. That's a lot of money. How much do I have now? 1,000. Was this icon always this, like, stack of money, or did it switch over to that when I got a certain amount of money? Hmm. I feel like it switched. Oh no, if I need to blood buff again, I'm gonna run out of blood. Mmm, I do. Crap. Okay, these need key cards. Mmm. I don't want to run out of blood. Who can I feed on? Hold on, I could feed on the guy at the front, right? You can you can do that, can't you? I mean there's no one looking. I, I don't see why I can't. Yeah. Yeah, you totally can. <laughs> yeah, I can't have a conversation with him anymore. Hopefully he's not going to recognize me and, like, call the cops next time he sees me. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. Whoa, it's got a totally corrupted screen. What the hell is going on there? Check around first. Alright, so this must be room number three. What the hell was wrong with that thing? Alright, Black Rose distribution since 1998. What? Easter eggs? Easter eggs? Ooh, I like Easter eggs. So that'd be, uh, what was it like? Lichens? Password succeeded. Hint. Open doors here often. To the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. Open doors here often to the werewolf in the sky. In the end, the ending, you'll manage to pass by. The dancing werewolves. What? Okay, that's gotta mean something. 
Hold on, I'm gonna write that down. Open doors here often. Oh god, I'm a very slow writer. I'm sorry. I apologize. To the werewolf. The werewolf in the sky. Is that the moon? In the sky. In the end. The ending. You'll manage to pass by. I, don't, I really don't know what that means. That's a hint. It's listed under hint. Hint for what? I don't know, but let's check out the printer. Invoices. Setting invoice list to printer, please wait. Is, is there a... Wait, where's the printer? Like, is there... <laughs> was there a printer at the main office? What, what did that just do? Do it again, just in case. Okay. Alright. Well, there isn't a printer in his room, so... I don't know. Was there one in the main office? Okay, I can't jump out of there. Well, apparently he's back to normal and I can just have a chat with him if I want. Okay, printer in the main office. I don't see a printer... ...anywhere. Okay, I have no idea what the hell's up with that. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. Oh my god, what the hell is going on with your dress? So much to explore. Ah, I love this game. Alright, so I need to go have a chat with, what was it, Isaac? I think it was Isaac. Yeah, Isaac Abrams. Mm-hmm. And I need to go back to Santa Monica. Because I have the business card from Brother Salvage in Santa Monica. Alright, well, I'm going to do all of that. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. Alright. I'll go see him. Jesus, calm down. Fucking asshole. Okay, what was I going to say before? Oh yes, I'm going to do all of that in the next episode. I'm going to end this one here. Alright, so I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.